everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're going to look at doing a basic installation of a paintball upgrade today. Okay, so we're looking at a T15 right now. So this T15 looks a little different than it would right out of the box. Uh, it's got their 7-inch key mod uh, rail on it, plus a suppressor on the end. Customer wanted to see this setup uh, already put together, so we did, and we figured since we have this setup already done, let's go ahead and install their brand new uh, buffer tube, so their remote line buffer tube setup. So if you want to get the tank off the back of the gun and you want to do a remote line uh, and kind of reduce some weight on the tank or just reduce some of the bulk of it, this is the new piece that allows you to do that. So we're going to install it onto this one. So the first thing we need to do is kind of um, remove all the parts we don't really need at the moment. So we'll take the magazine off. We're going to take the upper receiver off. I mean, you need to do that anyway for this gun. You need to separate the upper and lower receivers on this gun to do this install. So we might as well just do it now and move it out of the way. Set that over here. Put it right there so you can still kind of see it. All right, so from here, we're going to remove the back end now. So let's get the stock off. We're not going to use that anymore. Let's get the rail off. Because we are not going to use this either when we put the new buffer tube on. Remove the tank. Because maybe you're going to put that in a backpack. You're most likely going to use a bigger tank because that's a small one. From this setup right here, we need to remove the stock ring, which is right here, and then the housing on the inside. So uh, to take the stock ring off, there's one set screw that is right there. You do not need to remove it all the way so you don't lose it. Just a couple turns out and it will pop right off. You're not going to use that anymore. Now we need to remove this screw at the back and the plug that is with it. Take that off and the plug. This basically helps center this uh, adapter plate right here and it plugs the hole that's down here as well. So We don't need that anymore. We're not going to use that. Let's take this off of here. We're not going to use that either. We're going to have it just as it sits like this. So now there's two screws right here. These two screws will be a little bit more difficult to take out because they have blue Loctite on them. And First Strike recommends that you reapply the blue Loctite when you go to reinstall these. You are going to, you are going to use these screws again. Unlike all the other stuff, you will need these. So you can set these to the side. We will be reusing them. You can go ahead and clean them off. I would take a, a towel or something, put this in there, and then kind of run this through the towel like that to clean off any of the other uh, excess Loctite that's on there. They don't use a lot, you don't need a lot, um, but it does recommend to re reapply it when we go to put it together. All right, so we've got our, our tank adapter off. Um, the instructions say set the screws aside because you're going to use them and remove the O-ring because you're going to use it, which is true. You will be reusing the screws and the O-ring and you will not be reusing this part. What it does not tell you, the instruction manual does not tell you where to put this O-ring though. It's pretty obvious once you look at the parts where the O-ring needs to go, but the manual does not say where they need to go. So uh, I will show you where they need to go. Here's our new buffer tube that we're going to install. The bottom section right here has an O-ring already recessed into it. That's the same area that we took this piece off. This was the silver screw that was passing through that one. It has, um, it just pushes against that. So this has an O-ring already on it and this little bump to take the place of this plug. But up at the top right here, this is where the gas is going to go through. This is recessed for an O-ring right here. And you're going to use this O-ring that you pulled off and you're going to put it on just like that. And that's where it goes. Manual doesn't say where it goes, but it's pretty obvious it's going to go right there. So put that on there. 
So we can go ahead and boop, marry these two together. And this is where you would then reapply a little bit of this blue Loctite onto that screw. Pick up the right Allen key. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. If you want to play right away, it's okay. Just make sure you tighten these up. It will take the Loctite some time to cure. They say 24 hours. It's usually not that long, but it is, you know, I'd give it half the day at least to sit up nice and tight. Um, as long as you make those screws tight, one day of play isn't gonna, isn't gonna do anything. The blue Loctite is just there to, to help with vibration and the screws wanting to move or back themselves out because of vibration. Uh, all right, so that's on. Now what we would just need to decide is how we wanna set the stock up. We've got a hole here on the bottom right there and then another one on this side right here. These three holes will allow us to run our remote connection, remote adapter, in either of those three spots. A lot of people are gonna see it at the bottom right there. This is gonna just have the line coming right out the bottom into the back. But if you are a dominant left-handed player or right-handed player and you didn't switch arms very often, and you just wanted it to come out of one side or the other, then you could put it in the side like that. You know, it's up to you how you want to do it. It just gives you three options. Now the other two holes are going to be plugged with these pipe fittings. They give you three, I think they just give you an extra one because one hole is going to have your adapter and the other two will be plugged. So maybe they just give you an extra one just in case you lose it. Now, as far as putting these on, these all need to be either Teflon or Loctite. If you are an instant gratification player and you want it right away, Teflon is the way to do it because Loctite will take too long to set up. So Teflon on that. Um, I do not recommend white Teflon, the plumber's Teflon. It's too stringy. It breaks apart too easy. It'll blow through your gun and cause problems. Uh, get the gas fitting Teflon. It's a, a yellow Teflon. It holds, it's thicker. It holds up better. Uh, it's easier to work with. It doesn't flop around so bad. It's just better all together. Um, and then put some on there and then put it in. It's very simple how you're going to set it up. That's going to go in like that. That will go in there and that would go in like that. Obviously with Loctite or Teflon to make sure that your fittings don't leak. Um, all right, from there, we would just put it all back together. So our upper and lower, we're gonna put them back together. Whoops, missed. And then, one thing that they don't tell you again, that's not really in the manual, this is just how it works, is because the original stock was designed for a tube or for a tank to go in. This buffer tube now is much smaller than the tank was. Not gonna work. The buffer tube is cut for um, for the stock already. It's got the same piece or design or or stops they're called uh, as that little key does right there. The little um, the rod. But your original stock will not work. So you'll need to find one uh, that is just the outside part of the stock, the adjustable part. Um, if you want a paintball version, you're most likely going to get it with the buffer tube that fits a different type of gun, like an A5 or a 98 or something like that. You're just gonna pull the buffer tube out and you're just gonna use the stock. This one is an airsoft version. It was pretty snug, so I liked it on there. I know it's the wrong color, I don't think that really matters when it comes to showing you what it looks like. Obviously, we would go with the black one unless we changed all the other stuff to tan as well. But that's what it's going to look like on there. And then, you know, be adjustable all the way out with your remote line coming off the bottom right there. So a pretty cool little setup here. Just I want to remind everybody that their original stock will not work. You need to get a different one or use it without a stock on it at all. It looks kind of silly, but people love silly. So uh, that's it. That's the installation of the new gas through or remote line adapter buffer tube from uh, First Strike on AT15.
Well guys, I hope this helps you out with any questions or concerns you have about your paintball gear or products. And as always, for all your paintball needs, shop ansgear.com.